my name is Ariana Campbell and I work in the children's ministry at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa and today I'm going to be reading to you Words to Love By by Rick Warren. So let's get started. It says, Words to Love By. Did you know you have the power to change someone's life with your words? I love you. Words may be small, but they can do big things. Words can encourage, I believe in you. You're going to be great. You're really good at that. They can bring out the best in people. I knew you could do it. Well done, you did it. This is beautiful. Words can spread love and kindness. Do you need help? Let me help you. Please share. Thank you. And let others know they're not alone. Do you want to play with us? Words can show respect. After you, ma'am. How thoughtful. Would you like to go first? Thank you. And let the world know how thankful we are. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. World's best mom. That makes me smile. Words can heal. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And help build friendships. Sometimes words are spoken in anger. And unkind things are said that you don't really mean. I don't like you. Why don't you leave me alone? So be careful with your words. Once you send them out into the world, you can't get them back. Why don't you leave me alone? I don't like you. The words you use show others what's in your heart. I love you. I'm glad you're in my life. You're the best. God wants you to have a heart filled with kindness and love. Words are powerful and should be used wisely. They can steer you in the direction you want to go. Angry, awful, mean. If you don't like where you're headed, try changing, changing the way you talk. I'm happy for you. I, I care. I'm grateful. Sometimes it's best not to speak at all. Sometimes it's better to just listen. But always keep in mind, the words you choose today can change your life. And someone else's too.